in zero here. The cubic root of one is? The cubic root of one is? Yeah, one to any power is one. So this is just going to be one third. This is going to be negative two ninths. This is going to be 1027. And this is negative 80 over 81. one doesn't get an x. The second one gets an x. The third one, it goes up by one power every time. Okay, now you divide by the factorial of the power. The factorial is the exclamation mark thing, and I'll explain what it means in a sec. Are you guys feeling okay about this step? concept on Taylor polynomials? No? Yes. Okay, so Taylor polynomials were invented by people a long, 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 long time ago, like Newton, and they didn't have calculators. So the whole point of it was to take derivatives to estimate it close to a point they could plug in easily. Does that make sense? So what this should tell you, if I plug in something close to zero into this, I should get the same well, really close to the same number when I plug in that same number for x here and into the right answer. Say it one more time. Mm-hmm. Ready? So if I plug in, like, 0.1 here, I'm going to get some decimal. If I plug in 0.1 into the right answer, it should come out to be really close to the same decimal. The whole point of a Taylor polynomial is it estimates points close to what it's centered at. Will we ever have a problem that's not centered at zero? I don't think I've ever seen one. If it is not centered at zero, it's because it makes it easier. Okay. So far, so good? Okay. I would like to do a fence problem, and then I think we've done everything. Yeah? Can I see a book? I need a book. Excellent. Thanks, Josh. No book. Jen is back from drop day. Okay. <laughs>
This one for y just because I like x is better and I'm biased. So I have 2y equals 3600 minus 4x, so y equals 
partial sums. If it says partial sums, this is the sum of the first one. This is the sum of 1 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Follow? Now, and they're kind of jerks. If it was a multiple choice, they would have all the same numbers except for the last one would be different. And they would have 1. That was just 4, 2, 1, 1 half. So the answer would be the whole series? Not this would be this one. This would be the right answer. This would be the tricky answer. Make sense? Understand? Yeah. Don't understand? Anything you want to ask me, just come up and ask me. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. Thank you.